Good morning and welcome to my hobby bench. I have an engine today on my table that is not very well represented on my channel whatsoever. In fact, there's one whole video of it and there was never a look inside, quick look or anything. I think it was long before I was even doing that. That was in 2016. This engine dates back to, it was released to production in 1987, but as we go through the contents, we will find out exactly what year I believe that this came out. Now, those of you that are very familiar with OS boxes, and, and if you've watched my channel for a long time, you know that I'm really into the history and detective work and trying to figure out when an engine, the vintage of an engine, or the time that it was released and how old it is. This is an example of an engine box of OS from the late 80s. And without keeping you in suspense any more, it is the OS 40 SF ringed engine. This is not the ABC. Now the 40 SF ringed and 46 SF ringed and ABC engines both were released in 1987. And here's our, item, our part number. This is a ringed engine and I specifically got this engine because it was ringed. Now this is a new in-box engine and complete, totally complete, uh, as it came with actually an extra in there too that we'll get to. So let me open this up. And the first thing I want to say is that this engine, I don't know where the hell it was stored for all these years. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more here. I don't know where it was stored for all these years, but it has the smell of a car wash. Any of you that have gone through those soft touch car washes, or those drive through car washes, and they squirt that uh, tri-colored soap all over your car, that's what this smells like. It smells like that, which is really strange. But we've got the complete documentation pack. We've got an extra here. This is a needle valve assembly for uh, type carbs, 1521-2A331-3. This is the needle valve assembly for an OS, the FP series engines and other carbs. Why it's in here, I don't know, but it's a bonus since I have a 40 FP. That's a cool thing. Here we've got two screws for the exhaust. Here we have the unopened accessories that you would get with the late 80s engine or 80s engine before they started taking all the accessories out. You've got a little opened in wrench that says OS stamped on it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that or not. And a couple of Allen wrenches. And we'll go through the document package here shortly. Let me just take these two last two items out of the box and always look at the bottom. Always take everything out of the box because you never know what might be hidden in there. I found receipts and stuff hidden in there before. So here is our brand new, never seen a drop of fuel exhaust and this is the 873 exhaust which was I'm pretty sure this was a pretty much a standard exhaust for the SF series engines and those of you know OS engines very well they all have a, a number here and they'll say OS here if they don't have OS here or a number it's not an OS exhaust there'll be a lot of copycat exhausts that look very much like OS exhaust, but if they don't have the number here, a three digit number, it's not an OS exhaust, especially if it doesn't say OS here. So this is the 873 exhaust. Here is the engine that still smells like a car wash instead of an engine from an OS factory. This is the 40 SF. Now I know that a lot of people were probably more uh, enamored by the 46 SF, I've had 46 SFs before, and they're good engines. I mean, all the OS SF engines are good engines. But I happened to come across this one for a really reasonable price, and it was brand new in box, had never seen a drop of fuel, and that's kind of what drew me to it. Now, the other thing that drew me to it was the fact that, hopefully you can see that, that it's a ringed engine. And I've mentioned that many times before that if at all possible, I will buy ringed engines from now on just because of the fact that you can always get replacement rings. You can't, it's very getting very, very difficult to find matched piston and sleeve sets for any engine because they're just not made anymore. And those of you unfamiliar with ABC engines, you have to have a matched piston and sleeve 
for an ABC engine. You can't just replace the piston and keep the same original sleeve. It just doesn't work that way. So that's why ringed engines, in my opinion, are much more favorable. But you can see this has the classic and beautiful OS casting. Just a spectacular engine. Let's go through the documentation package and like I said this according to my OS engines timeline these were released in 1987. Now there are some things that I find interesting here. This is the instruction sheet which is in both Japanese and English and it covers the 46 SF, 40 SF, 40 SF ABC, 40 SF ABC and 40 SF. So they don't say ring. They either just say SF or SF ABC. And of course we all know that ABC engines, when OS says ABC engine, they really mean ABN because I don't know that they ever really made true ABC engines. So here's our one page instruction sheet in both Japanese and English, which is always nice to see. Let's pull out everything else that's in here. We have the instructions for just the carburetor in both English and Japanese. Also test a testament to the age of this engine because I believe um, when they went to, in the 2000s at least, when they went to the newer, the all blue boxes, all the instructions were strictly English. So you know that you found something pretty old if it has still both Japanese and English instructions. This is the marketing literature which is going to tell us the actual, what I will believe is the actual age of this engine. And of course with OS engines you would always get this nice mounting template that you can cut out and use to you know, mount, mark the holes on your engine mount. And of course the standard OS decals or stickers for your flight box or wherever. Your OS warnings and then of course your limited warranty. Now. This was released in 1987, but the marketing literature can at least tell you a better idea of when the vintage of this exact engine, because they're not serialized in any way, shape, or form. So I use my OS engine's timeline all the time that's hanging on the wall. I've got, I happen to have a poster. I don't have the PDF. Well, I have the PDF, but fortunately I have the poster so I can sit there and look at it on the wall. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of go through all the engines on here, either two strokes or the four strokes especially, and look at an engine that would be one of the latest engines, like this one right here. This OS FS120S SP with that big thing on the back. This is the engine that told me that this is not a 1987 vintage engine because this marketing literature, and you also have to figure Maybe this engine was made in 87, 88 and just sat in inventory and then they just threw different marketing literature in. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't think that would be the case because when they were mass producing these things, they were shipping these things out. So the marketing literature, the current, and they were always really good about keeping up with the current marketing literature. Back in those days, OS was always you know, advertising for themselves. So they would always include these nice big marketing brochures for all their engines because they want you to look at them and they want you to buy more engines. And so these were always very up to date. At least that's what I tend to believe. So this engine according to my timeline, this one here, the SP came out in 1990. So even though the 40 SF came out in 87, I believe that this is a 1990 version of the engine. Now, I have no idea what the lifespan, the lifespan production life of these engines was. It could have been 10 years. I really don't know. The timeline only tells us when it was released to production. As far as I know, there's really very little information that you can definitively determine on when they stopped producing a particular line of engines because the SF series was probably replaced by the FX series of engines. And if I recall correctly, the FX series of engines, I think I bought my first 46 FX in the late 90s, uh, maybe 98 or so. So the SF series may have had a 10 year 
10 or 12 year production run before being replaced by the FX series. And then I think after the FX series, they replaced them with maybe the AX. After the 90s and into the 2000s, I really lost favor with a lot of the quality of a lot of engines uh, because they just started cheapening everything. So I don't, I'm not as familiar with the, the newer, the later versions. I know the AX is still uh, the latest version of two-stroke for OS, and quite honestly, I can't stand those engines, but because I am a classic engine person here. I like the 80s, early 90s engines the best. But this has been a quick look at this beautiful OS Max 40 SF, and heck yes, you're going to see this thing on the stand in the very near future. So stay tuned for that.